It's Some all a partnership. Now, if it's, it, no. yeah, if it's if it's good, if it's good, I'm not gonna say nothing. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it as it is, and I'm be like, hey. You said I was getting this fake in the more. U.S. <laughs> That's what U.S. does to you. Interesting fact for today's video. Now, this has nothing to do with relationships, but it kind of no. has more to do with our relationship. Okay. More human twins are being born now than ever before. Really? Yes. Twin rates has increased one third since the 80s, up from nine to 12 twins per 1,000 deliveries. And the reason why I bring that up is because Dua's mom is a twin <laughs> and her sister is having twins. So there's a possibility that the Pensons could get twins. Would you like twins? You know, I wouldn't even really, I, it would be tough. Yeah. But, I wouldn't mind twins. Yeah, it would be it would be convenient to pop two at yeah, a time. Yeah, two at a time, and then I wouldn't mind twins. It it would be cool, I guess. Yeah. But any 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 healthy baby is a blessing from yeah. God. So whether it's twins, whether it's triplets, whether it's quadruplets. Okay. You know, uh, yeah. All right. Let's start the video. <laughs> Besides all that twin stuff, welcome back to the LD World. Today is Friday. It has been a long week of filming. It's Friday. We've been putting out some interesting <laughs> content throughout the week, but you guys know what to do. We got another one for you today. Before we get started, go ahead and get this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the family. Join the family. We'd love to have you. Turn on that notification bell because we're off Saturday and Sunday, but we'll be back with another episode on Monday. Yeah. Dua's going to take control of this video. So without Ooh. further ado, let's get right into it. All right. So what you got for us today? We're gonna talk about when husbands or men mm -hmm. get the question from their wife or girlfriend or girlfriend or sister or mother when they ask when another woman asks this question when they ask do I look a little chubby in this or how do I look or mm. just how you're supposed to respond I guess mm. Yeah? Okay. It's a tough question to answer. It is a tough question. So to I'm answer. gonna start this off with if I ask you, mm -hmm. how do I look in this? And you would actually like, maybe you didn't necessarily like it a lot. Mm -hmm. How would you respond? I'd be like, huh? <laughs> you would. <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, look at what? <laughs> no, because it happens a lot. It happens it does a, happen lot a lot that because. I have a very interesting taste of clothing. Clothing. Yes. But it it depends. And that's what that's what it's it's a very tough question to answer. How would I let me let me start with how I answer. Because I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna answer. I would be like, I like it, but Yo, oh, there's a but. Yeah. I like it, but I think dot 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 looks a little bit better really yes <sighs> but i will be honest in the past i have said i don't like it and the reason why i don't say that anymore is because i think she do it whenever i say i don't like it she go she goes ahead and wear it. <laughs> yeah but yeah you can't only think about me because i'm very well this is just about you right now yeah. before i get to the general public on how to answer she goes ahead and she's like well i don't care if you don't like it i'm gonna wear it anyway and i think she does that because i say i don't like it no it's just the confidence it is it's i think it's both no so what i do now is i'm like you know what that looks good but i think this looks better or i'm like you know what we would match better if you wore this and she's like we would match yeah but you never want to match me so that's you why sometimes i gotta get out of my comfort zone to make me change to make you change your outfit <laughs> yes so that that is my answer on that but i do think that it's okay especially if you're comfortable with that person if you're married and i think it's okay to say i don't like it mm -hmm. But I, I think it's important to end it with, but if you feel good in it, wear it. Yeah. It's important to know if you're comfortable with that person, especially if you're married and you know they can take it the right way. I think it's okay to say, I don't like the outfit, mm -hmm. but if it makes you feel good, 
wear it. Go ahead and wear it. But if she will ask you, mm -hmm. do I look fat in this? I think there is a deeper issue to that question. I think that is where you have to be careful. Yes. Because you never know. Even, even if that person is comfortable with you, you never know if they're like struggling with self-confidence, if... That's a tough one. That is a tough one. You never, rule number one, you never just want to go ahead and answer yes or no. That is a loaded question. Yeah, I think... That question should never be answered. Yes, it does, or no, it doesn't. Because they don't want most people, male or women, but they don't want to know if they look fat in this outfit. Yeah, because I feel like if you do ask that question, this is gonna come out harsh. But I feel like if you do ask that question, mm -hmm. you're not really confident enough to just wear it. Like there's a reason why you're asking. Yeah, Does that make sense? And, it, and it's, it's an insecurity within either that person or within the relationship. So two things that you gotta think about here. When, whenever that question is presented to you, stop. Look, look the person in the eye, but have your mind thinking and just running about what you're going to say. Because once again, it's a loaded question. What you want to do is think about how you're going to respond. So just stop for a second. Before you answer any question that anybody gives you, you want to stop and think about it. It's okay. You don't need to respond right away with an answer. So stop and think about it. And if she's just standing there like, hey, I asked you a question. Just be like, hmm, hmm, hmm. No, <laughs> that's too long. No, then be like, turn around. Because, you, no, because Let at the say, same, hmm. no, because at the same time, you don't want her to think like, oh, it's taking him a while to answer. No, but that's where you have to be strategic about it. You have to make it really seem like let me deeply answer your question. But really, you're giving yourself time to think. Now- But why do you have to think though? Because, because you wanna make sure, you wanna think about why they're asking the question. But No, I, this is coming from a male point of view. Male and female think differently. Males and female think differently. It's a known fact. So yeah. males wanna think about why they're asking the question. Like, why is she asking the question? Am I not giving her enough attention? Is there something that she might feel that I don't know she's feeling about? And then being boom, boom, boom. Then you can respond with this and be like, hmm, this is a cute outfit, but how do you feel in it? Then your response would be, I feel good. Feel good? <laughs> hmm. Okay. Well, I think this outfit is great. Personally, I think you look good in anything. Yeah, that's what I was, that's, so this is why I was asking you, why would it take you so long? Why wouldn't you just have said right away, I think, I think you look good in it. Because what if that person doesn't want that answer? Everybody's different. You get what I'm saying? So what if somebody doesn't want, what if they want, okay, but you didn't answer my question. I know you think I look good in it, but does it make me look? Yeah, and then what do you say? You'd be like, I really don't think it makes you look fat. I think that this dress really pulls out the best features of you, but I think you look great in both of them. See, no response. That's how you know you won. That's how you know you no, answered the question correctly. When there's no response and all they have to do is shake their head, that's how you know you answered the question correctly. Yeah, that maybe that wouldn't be the other woman's response. That it, was just me. It would be because at that point, there is no there is no thought process because you answered both questions. You you answered your question on this. Maybe it does make you look fat, but you don't say that. You're like, I think this dress looks better on you. But to be honest with you, you look great in both. You would tell her that another dress looks better on her. Not necessarily better, but be like, I think this dress will pull out these certain features, but. Both of them look great on you. Okay. And then, then what you do there is you put the ball in her court. 
then she makes the decision on what to wear, not so, you. So basically what we're saying is you shouldn't really answer you shouldn't the question. Really answer you dodge the question. It. Yeah, but but compliment. Yes. Her yes. It's like a I was gonna say it's like a sandwich, but it's not like a sandwich. A it's sandwich. Yeah, sandwich. You you say something good, then you put something bad in between, and you say something good on the outside. But it's not like that. It's not like that at all. So basically what you're doing is you're taking the question, she's asking you a question, putting the ball in your court. Guys, we all know how we think. We don't think as deeply as women do. That's a fact, it's science, Google it. But when the ball is in your court, there's so many things you, that can go wrong. So what you do is you take that question, you take that ball and you put it back in her court and let her make the decision. Because but you make her feel good like either that. way. Yeah. Exactly, but you make her feel good either way. Because you want her to make the decision. It yes. shouldn't be up to Yes. The even, you can even be like, you know what, babe? You look great in that dress. I think this dress will be better, but you know what? You look good either way. In fact, you look good naked. So no matter how you feel, I'm gonna be standing by your side all the time. And then you be like, oh, this is good. But, and then she'll come in and be like, but you think this dress is better? I'll be like, the color just brings out your eyes. And she's like, it does bring out my eyes. Okay, boom. Okay. Then that way, the ball's in, in her car. Then, then she won't be like, but why do you like this dress more than that dress? That's what I was saying. Don't say some dress is better than Yeah, that. but you'd, bring, you'd be like, I just think that this color brings out your eyes. But that one's great too. And you'd be like, well, it does bring out my eyes. I wear this one. And then you walk away happy and you have a good night. Boom, it's done. And then you're sitting there in the back of your head and you're just like, man, I dodged a bullet. <laughs> I actually like that answer. Right? Yeah. It makes sense. Because you never know, you really never know why the person is asking. The, but you they kind of do. They really insecure. It, but the reason why they feel insecure, and this is where it, it falls back on us. The reason why they feel insecure is because we probably don't compliment you enough. Probably, that's probably the fact. So we probably don't compliment you enough because most of the time when this happens, it's maybe after a few kids or maybe we did gain a little bit of weight because of we were trapped in the house for COVID or something like that. So maybe we do feel a little insecure about ourselves. So we do want an honest opinion, but we don't really want to be hit with the truth. Yeah, and I think also the honest opinion of like, do I look fat? shouldn't be answered while she's trying on the dress yes like if you if you are maybe if she brings it up like on the sofa one day and is actually serious about like talking about you know if she gained some weight or she's feeling insecure mm -hmm. that's when you can like talk to her about it but but still not like yeah you still gotta tread another, lightly with that let me tell you how i handle it yeah, like, so let's say if mm -hmm. I was a little bigger, mm -hmm. but it, it was, I would have told you like back in the day that I would want you to let me know. Yeah. So how would you go about it? I'm like, babe, I we need to start eating healthier. Or do you want to come out for a run or try this workout with me? But I feel like that's, that is another like way of saying. It is, but... Now both of you are included to be like, instead of being like, so how would you want me to say you? Would you want me to be like, you know, you're getting a little, you're getting a little no, chubby or so, you need to do something about your diet and your exercise. No, so I do agree. If, if I had brought it up that I want you to let me know, mm -hmm. then I think it's okay. But it, even if you did bring it up that you want me to let you know, I still don't think it, I think that you should include the both of you because no, no, no. I'm saying like, what if I never told you that, like, I don't want you to tell me if I'm, if I'm getting too fat or like, would you do it then? I would still do it. Let me tell you why. The reason why is because I, this is just a personal opinion, but I would not want you to put your health at risk because of you're just getting comfortable. Because health to but, me but is, is very, it, very important. But it's not important. always comfortability though. It could be a lot of different factors. So we would probably need to find out what that factor is and we probably need to find a solution to it. 
Yeah. Because health to me is very important. You don't have to look like the cover of a magazine, but you should be healthy because we have to set an example, not just for ourselves, but for the people around us and for our children and future generations. So if, if it's something like you do let yourself go because of bad habits, Bad habits gonna get us copyright. Yeah, I know. <laughs> if you do let yourself go because of bad habits, that's setting a bad example for, let's say, kids or people around us who look up to us. You understand what I'm saying? You yeah, I don't saying? think that's our responsibility though, but I just think for yourself. Even for yourself, you should want to take care of yourself. Your body is a temple, you want to take care of the temple. You should want to be, you don't need to be fit, you don't need to be this, but you should want to be healthy. Mm -hmm. And if there's unhealthy traits coming, then that should be said by either of the partner. You should have a good relationship to want to look out for the other person's yeah, health. Yeah, I agree with that. So, and that's how you handle that. Now, if you have something where you're like, oh, I want you to look like this, yeah, that's, that's, another a, thing. that's a whole issue. That's like another that. thing that I was going to say, because I personally know one woman in my life mm -hmm. and she was constantly being told that she was too fat and she honestly was not fat then that's and she was being told by like a few people that were close to her and that's what i was saying it's like a it's a thin line of like should you tell someone like is it because she wasn't fat yeah. But I think that was just like the other person's issue of like wanting to put that person down. Yeah. Like, I don't yeah, think that had anything to do with do the person. No. So it's. But most of the time when it comes to a relationship, if let's just say, let's use our relationship, for example, because we can only speak for ourselves. If Dua was gaining weight, her weight gain is going to reflect on me. What I mean by that is if she gains weight, I'm probably gaining weight too because we're so close and we we do everything the same way, the same thing together. So that's why I would say, hey, do it. Maybe we need to go do this. Maybe we should cut back a little bit on this. Maybe we, boom, it's all a partnership. Some it's all a partnership. Now, if you it's, liked it, no? yeah, if it's, if it's good, if it's good, I'm not gonna say nothing. I'm just gonna leave it as it is, and I'm be like, hey. You said I was getting this fake in the more. U.S. <laughs> That's what U.S. does to you. Yes. Yes, and then I started to get a little thick, and I was like, whoa, maybe we. Oh, that's when we start. Need to just slow down a little bit. But that's pretty much it. So well, you just cut it like yeah, that. Just gonna cut it because because we're just gonna dive into a rabbit hole. We don't want to dive into. The bottom line is, is significant other or any female, when they come and ask you that question, don't just give a flat yes or no. Think yeah, about it's, it. Yeah, because there's always a reason why they're asking. Yes, consider, think about why they're really yeah. asking you that question. Yeah. Because it's deeper than what's on the surface. Yeah. And then respond with a, a, a thoughtful, educated response. Don't just be like, um, I don't know. It's whatever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Really think about it because it's more than just what's on the outside. It's it's what's on the inside, and you want to figure out what the what the actual issue is, so then that way it can be resolved. Yeah. You definitely want to make them feel loved. Yeah, that's another thing I was gonna say. Like maybe the issue doesn't have to be like resolved right there mm -hmm. and then. Just make them feel. That's why. Good. Yeah. Just make like, them you know feel. What? Baby. You look good and whatever. In fact, take it off. Take it off. Let's go to bed. <laughs> Do that. Make them feel love. Mm, yeah. That's all we got for today. We received this question from Instagram. It's a great question. Um, we wanted to go ahead and answer it for you guys. If you have any other content yeah. requests, either or, go ahead. Let us know how you would respond to that question. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. If you have any other content requests, comment down below. Let us know how you would respond to that question if you received it in the past. It, how you how did you respond to it have you learned from your mistakes so on and so forth just comment down below we love chatting with you guys we do always respond to our comments when we can especially if they're positive if they're negative we ignore it keep it going <laughs> and are, is that in one ear and out the other yeah okay good but See, um, <laughs> i'm an actress 
That's all we got for today. If you liked the video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the family. Turn on that notification bell. We'll be back with another LD World episode for you guys on Monday. Oh my gosh, we have two days yes, off. Yes, two days <laughs> off. We're going to create content throughout the weekend. So use this time now to put it in um, in the comment section down below. Yeah. You guys have a great weekend. Have a blessed weekend. And we'll see you guys on Monday. Later.